Hello viewers, in this video I would like to cover one of the interview questions. Can you expect the output of the uh, these two statements? So I'm just giving a, a few seconds, just expect the output and we will see, I will execute the same two lines and will give you the explanation, alright? So just expect the output. Just think about it. All right. So now I will tell you what is what is, what is the output for both the statements. It will return you a value two. Let me execute these two statements in QTP, and I will show you the output. All right. So when I execute it. Have you guys observed the output is true for both the statements right so whenever like you know uh, the explanation for this is like whenever we are using a round function uh, there are two uh, three different possibilities right so basically if the value is less than 0.5 then it will give you the lower value for example, what I am trying to say here is, uh, for example, say if I give print round of 1.4, right? Because it is less than, uh, you know, 0.5. At this time, it will return you one. Okay, let's see. As I told you, because which is less than 0.5, then it will be like a floor value of that. Uh, floating value all right so because of that it will return you one now if it is more than a point five the value would be like something like a ceiling value all right let's see for example if I give 1.6 we will get the output as 2 all right as you can see the output is 2 here right but Whenever we give exactly 1.5, what will happen is it will return you the nearest even number. So what I am trying to say here is for example as you can see 1.5 is there. So it will move towards the even number. So when I say for 1.5 what is the nearest number? It is 2. Right? the other even number in the downside is 0 which for that the difference is 1.5 whereas if you move towards upwards like towards 2 it is just a 0.5 because of that it will return you 2 here right so let's see how we can uh, how what value will be written in with respect to 2.5 right so as I told you earlier which will round or move towards the even number right for that to print like you know this statement uh, to move towards even number which the difference is only 0.5 whereas to move upwards mean to say to reach the value of 4 which needs to add 1.5 right because of that it won't go for like you know the least one the nearest even number is 2 right just we need to uh, like you know the difference is just a 0.5 because of that reason it will return you 2 that is the explanation like you know uh, that's that is how the round function will work all right so that's all in this video thanks for watching